Hi guys, I'm quickly back with a new project. This project is my homework. Uh, as a lot of you already know, I, I purchased a, um, a quite a large workshop with quite a few modules in uh, from one of um, Russian artists. All my um, learning uh, is in Russian. And there was a uh, little comment that, um, you know, people understand I don't want to share link and, or something. I never said I don't want to share. I especially uh, um, stress that if you uh, do understand Russian language, you can uh, contact me and I will pass you link. Because there is everything in Russian, uh, talking, um, communication, writing, everything is in Russian. And um, saying that there were two or even more girls who contacted me and I did send them uh, links directly. So please, if you are happy, I can send you links or uh, maybe I even actually put under this a um, video so you can check it out, uh, her work, because her work is very, very inspiring as well. Um, okay, so homework. Um, there was quite a few modules, a few already you saw, I was posting on a, a Facebook. There was some um, rustic style cards, of these and without design paper. There was handmade paper, coffee stained paper, which already I knew how to make, because as you know, all my journals come in coffee stained paper. And uh, what else did I do? I think that's about it. And now next um, module was a journal, rustic style journal. So here is my rustic style journal. I think I have to zoom out a little bit. You can see better like that. So let me explain what did I do. We'll open like you oh, can see better. Right here. Cover is a cardboard. I um, cut out piece of cardboard for a cover. Um, I glued on handmade paper. Paper is a little bit darker in a color than usual recycled paper, and that is because I added instant coffee directly into into the blender. So I didn't put. Afterwards, on a paper, I added to the blender when actually I blend together a paper with water. I put in a little bit of uh, instant coffee, it's a very nice, grungy look. Uh, and then I went over with white acrylic paint. Um, I sewed on closure, is um, cotton fabric, coffee stained, lace on a side. And here's this little house. Little house um, we were making by cutting out house shape from cardboard as well and glued together quite a few uh, sheets or quite a few houses <laughs> to make a uh, thicker. So it's quite a, quite a um, thick embellishment. And then I went over as well the same white acrylic paint. Then I rubbed a little bit off. Then I put over blue and rubbed it off again a little bit to make it look uh, like grungy. And then I went over with a rusty paste. This orange is rusty paste. I think I showed you. Um, I think I showed you already, but I can show you again. I use this rusty paste. It's really bright orange. So, and then I put around a little bit of twine and glued behind a house. And then house goes right on a cover. A ring binding, nice and easy. I love ring binding. Um, on the back as well is um, handmade paper, uneven. Handmade paper glued on. I cut just this side. And afterwards, I went over with white acrylic paint. Here is little flap, like that, goes over um, front cover. On a flap, this um, how do you call it? It is like not extension, 
thickness of the flap, I um, covered with twine, I glued it on, I uh, just um, wrapped it around and then I went over with white acrylic paint too. So, and then a flap, on a little flap is the same similar um, uh, technique. I put on, I glued on coffee stained handmade paper a little bit of lace I sewed over with a sewing machine and afterwards a little bit covered somewhere there with white acrylic paint. So when you open it, then here on the inside of the front cover is like grinched white, um, book pages and I went over a little bit randomly with white acrylic paint. Then what we have and um, book pages, a similar technique is on the back cover, on, in, on the inside of the back cover, on, on, and uh, on the flap too. Right. Um, journal itself is the front um, page. Is more this um, function is more like dividers, but is very pretty embellished and I think uh, in, in her tutorial, in her uh, module, she explained it as well as a divider for a journal. So in this journal we have three dividers, which means um, there is three on craft paper um, embellished pages. So a uh, page one, craft paper, Layers of book page, um, then I put on uh, lighter craft paper, handmade paper, uh, wooden uh, look, design paper, old lace, sizzle. I th hope I do pronounce it right. I can just a second. Um, I, I, I will show you what it is. It is like that. I think that's sizzle. I hope I do pronounce it right. Okay. And then I uh, die cut little leaf and the same way as a house covering with white, um, blue and rusty uh, paste. I made that leaf very colorful. So that looks like that and when you turn page over there's a little bit of embellishing as well with some handmade paper again that sizzle I just sewed straight down and small piece of um, lace this lace actually is a lace from happy mail from my little goodie big little big goodie bag from Angie Burner so Angie I'm using your lace on very important cover. <laughs> okay, so that's divider one. Then I put just coffee stained paper. Divider two. Divider two is with little bird. The same way I cut out, I, this is not a die cut, I just uh, cut out to myself, little bird. Um, color wise, I the same technique as for a house, white acrylic paint, rub it off a bit, blue acrylic paint, rub it off a bit to make it look more grungy and I went over somewhere randomly with a rusty paste. And here is layers of book page, old lace, check paper, coffee stained, uh, negative of the leaf dye and little feather down there and I sew the stitches uh, zigzag and straight stitch right down there. On the back we have book page, um, die cut leaf and old lace. And this lace I think is from Angie's um, Happy Mile as well. So I think I'm quite using Angie's stuff up now. <laughs> okay, now again I have just plain for, a couple, for, for properly writing a plain uh, coffee stained paper. And then again divider number three. This is like little um, 
picture. It meant to be like little picture in very small size. So again, similar technique with coloring as previous ones. Um, layers of design paper, book pages, craft paper, old lace, die cut, half of a die cut um, flower and I um, twist it around a little bit of twine and that all is uh, glued on craft paper. Usually craft paper is like bright orangey brown color but this one is not, it's more grey but it comes under name craft paper. So and on the back I have a little bit of design paper, um, flower die cut and lace. And then again is just plain coffee stained print paper and back cover like that. So this is my homework. I can tell you guys, I love this closure. I love style of this journal. And I am not going to sell this one. This is just for showing you guys what I did. And actually I do homework too. Um, it's really enjoyable. I absolutely love this journal. But the good news is that I'm going to make something very, very similar. But I think instead of these uh, large embellishments, I think I will be putting on um, some kind of uh, cross stitching. I am not sure yet. I have to decide what I'm going to do because at the moment I have some uh, orders to make as well. But between orders, I think I will try to make something uh, for you as well. Okay, thank you everyone for uh, watching. I again just to remind you that um, that course, that wor workshop I purchased is in Russian language. Uh, I already said, I think, in previous. Um, in previous videos, if you are, are happy to uh, learn in Russian, I will post and send you links. I had a few girls contacting me and I send them links straight over. And I think actually I will put link down below to her uh, blog. So you can actually look through, maybe you can manage, I think there is, you can switch to English language as well. You can uh, go through and look, her work is incredible. Uh, obviously, you, if you know a Russian language, you can contact her and you can purchase the same course. She has more uh, interesting courses. It's not just this rustic, but because of just this rustic journals and things cut uh, my eye. So I thought I will purchase it. I have you any questions about course, about this journal, please ask. And see you again soon, because obviously there is some more journals to come. Okay guys, thanks a lot. Have a lovely day everyone. Bye!